Lions Cry. I don't even know why I'm crying, it's just me. Like. I'm just hurt because if I do all this and I show you my care and I show you how much I care about you easily, like uh, how hard is it to just you all this sean and wani's issue it is getting out of hand in fact it has gotten out of hand because till now they are still not talking they've even reported the matter to any housemate that cares to listen they've talked about it in the diary room and they both cried like they were really in tears i was surprised to see sean cry guys I was even Wani. I don't think I've seen Wani cry before in the ass. Yeah, she might have cried, but I've not watched her personally cried. Not until today. Um, I'm just here to give you all the gist why they are fighting, why they are no longer talking, avoiding each other in the ass and everything. It all started yesterday. Wani and Sean, they were having like a conversation. So Sean was talking about someone that is outside the ass and he did not want to mention the person's name. So he was just like describing the person. And it happened that Wani knows the person, Wani knows who Sean was describing and she mentioned the person's name. After mentioning the person's name, um, Sean like reacted like, ah, why did you have to mention the name? I did not want to call the person's name. You just mentioned it, this and that. And, and Wani's response was that you are acting weird. So that is what started everything. That is the genesis of their fight in the house. Sean, on the other hand, got pissed. It was like, you did something wrong. I'm telling you that I do not like what you did. And you are telling me that I am acting weird. Wani, on the other hand, felt like the word she used is not an insult. But Sean felt insulted. He was like, why did you have to come in weird? You did something wrong. I am trying to correct you. I am trying to tell you you are wrong. Wani was saying something like, oh, that is not an insult. I just said you are weird. Because I just mentioned the person's name. I didn't do anything that deep, that serious. I did not know you don't want to mention the person's name. So I've already mentioned it. So why that behavior? You are too weird. It's not an insult. So um, Sean got angry. Wani Sha apologized here. Yeah, she apologized. She said, okay. If you feel insulted by that word I use on you, I am sorry, but I did not mean it like that because I have used it on people, on other people, and they did not react like that. I've even used it on my sister. I've even used it to describe myself. Nobody reacted like that, so I did not expect you to react differently. I am sorry, but she was she just trying to defend herself, and Sean was not having it. Sean started like raising his voice not really she, he was not really shouting but he was really really angry saying a lot of things and he was telling him to calm down calm down calm down but he was still going on and on and on saying that you cannot tell me how to react because you've coddled other people and that word and they did not react doesn't mean that i should not react i am different this and that and since he was still just saying he was like sharp complaining he was not pleased with the word when he apologized but when he was still making was still trying to make him see reasons why she said it is not an insult but it was when he was like okay it's okay it is fine you are you are shouting at me already i don't like the way you are speaking to me Wani was continuously telling him that, Sean, I do not like the way you are speaking to me. People are hearing you. I do not like the way you are speaking, speaking to me, but he was still talking. So Wani walked at, I think she was going in the, to the kitchen and Sean was following her. She was walking towards the kitchen and Sean made a statement that provoked her. He was like, fuck off. I think something around that, like Wani, she just, oh, I'm talking to you and you're walking out of, okay, fine, continue going, just fuck off, something like that. Wani got angry, but I do not think she responded. No, she did not respond to that fuck off, even though it pained her. She just walked to the kitchen, but Sean still followed her to the kitchen. 
and she went there she was cooking with her sister and the sean was explaining and explaining and explaining i see when he didn't say much but sean was just going on and on and on explaining to one and the explaining and explaining guys it was a lot when he was saying she doesn't want to talk that is sean is okay now i don't want to talk okay maybe we'll talk about this later right now i do not want to talk sean just back off like leave me alone i need to breathe give me breathing space i don't want to talk he's okay now sean said no i will talk i am angry now so i will talk you will not tell me that i should come i should come back and talk about it later i am going to talk about it and i will talk about it now um so they were chat talking and talking and when he said sean you are embarrassing me and sean was like no you are you are embarrassing yourself when he was like sean you are embarrassing me because people were like in the kitchen i think nelly was there cassia was there there were some other people in the kitchen so they were just arguing and arguing and arguing and arguing. She's saying it is okay. She doesn't want to talk. Sean said she must talk. He wants to talk. This and that. So when he was like, Sean, you are embarrassing me. And Sean responded by saying, no, you are embarrassing yourself. So that pissed uh, Andy off. Andy was angry like, now that is an insult, Sean. You do not have to insult her like that. What is she's, what is she's embarrassing herself? Sean, Sean repeated it. He said, yes, she, she's embarrassing herself i am not the one embarrassing her so andy was angry it wanted to turn to andy and the sean's quarry and um when he was like he's okay sean i don't want to blow this out of proportion he's okay he's okay already it's okay so finally sean kept quiet but he was still standing there in the kitchen with them so they were already done cooking they were dishing out food and when he still dished sean's food and gave it to sean but sean kept it in the fridge saying he will eat it later um they finished like dishing the food when he wanted to eat and sean said to her again they should go outside and talk which when he went out with her food to sean and they got there got <laughs> it was another thing they because they they started quarreling like they were arguing seriously they started quarreling again and this one he is saying that the word she used she did not know that sean would find it offensive yeah she, because she has used it on other people and they did not react they did not find it offensive sean is saying that no don't stay so stop saying that because those people did not find it offensive doesn't mean that I won't find it offensive to me it's an insult and you cannot tell me how to react people react to things differently this and that and when he was like okay fine i know you said you do not like it and i apologized but you also wronged me because you told me to fuck off you told me to my face sean said he did that intentionally that he disrespected Wani intentionally because Wani was disrespecting him by walking out on him in front of the assmate. Wani said, yeah, she had to walk out because Sean was scolding her in front of the assmate, that Sean was disrespecting her in front of the assmate. She was telling Sean that it is okay, they should talk about it later, but Sean was still going on and on and on. He did not want to listen. That is why she just work out on him because she did not want to overreact she didn't want to be aggressive sean said walking out of him in front of the athlete was disrespectful to him that is why he intentionally disrespected uh, wani by saying that word to wani <laughs> it is shy lord they were shy again let me talk let me talk stop cutting me let me talk and I'm, I'm not done talking okay you talk uh, Sean was like, do you want to talk or you want to listen? Do you do you want to talk or you want me to talk? Um, Wani said, okay, talk. He was talking. Wani had to cut him short. He said, oh, stop cutting me off. Allow me to finish. I asked you just now. I said, I asked if you want to talk or listen. You said you want to listen. So now don't talk when I'm talking. Allow me to finish and you can say whatever you have on your mind. Don't cut me, don't cut me, don't cut me, don't cut me. <laughs> they were just doing up and down, up and down, back and forth, back and forth before Big Brother, before Big Brother called them to the arena. Yeah. So today they did another talking. It ended up in quarrel. Wani and they did not even want Wani to go talk, saying that uh, 
Anija, well, Anija just finished crying, so she's not in the right mind to talk. But Sean was insisting that he wants to talk now. It must be now. See, Andy and Sean almost won't quarrel again before Wani just went. Wani said, okay, fine, I will go with you. But now Wani did not really want to talk. It is like it was forcing Wani. So they went to talk and they ended up quarreling again. So for now, they are avoiding each other, went to the diary room, reported each other, cried. They were just being emotional. Wani cried, Wani cried seriously. Sean cried seriously. It was crying competition in Big Brother's diary room. <laughs> oh, guys. Oh, oh. And they are waiting, like, both of them, yeah, they are waiting for who should be the bigger person, like, who should apologize first, yeah? That is what they are waiting for. Wanina is saying that she apologized earlier when it all, when the all you disrespected meeting started. But Sean is not... Sean doesn't want to accept his fault. Sean doesn't want to accept that he scolded Wani, that the way he talked to Wani after Wani said that word to him was disrespectful to Wani. He is saying, no, that is how he talks, that he was just demonstrating with his hand that he did not scold Wani, he did not raise his voice on Wani, he did not disrespect Wani, it was, he was just talking because he just talked because he was angry. Like, doesn't he have the right to react whenever he's angry, to hear his opinion whenever he's angry? When he said, I'm not saying you should not hear your opinion, but you were basically scolding me like I am a child. Sean said, yes, that is because you were behaving like a child. She had said, they were just, they, see, they don't want to just grieve for each other. When he is saying that she, not go go apologize to Sean, never, that she's tired of apologizing to Sean, being the bigger person. This time, if Sean knows Sean values him, Sean should be the bigger person and come and talk to him. Sean, on the other hand, he thinks he did nothing wrong, that he did not scold Wani. He was just, to him, he was talking like in his normal way. He did not scold Wani. He did not raise his voice on Wani. He did not disrespect Wani. So I believe he thinks that he doesn't owe Wani any apology. <sighs> It is a lot. But that is just the genesis of what caused their fight, why they are fighting here. So that is all. Please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Also, please like this video, share, and comment.